All It Takes Is One Friend. Written by Heather Rankin, Bachelor of Arts and Sciences, Child Life Specialist, and Bachelor of Education. Illustrated by Earl Prentice Public School Students. A Children Living Well book. This is Todd. One day he discovered that all it takes is one friend. Todd woke up with what felt like a pebble in his stomach. The pebble feeling started at school the day before when someone stepped on his toe and didn't say he was sorry. His toe wasn't hurt as much as his feelings were. On the way to breakfast, Todd passed his big brother's room. His big brother shouted out, Are you really going to wear that ugly looking shirt? Todd liked the shirt he was wearing. So those words really hurt his feelings. And now the pebble felt like a rock. When he arrived in the kitchen, his mummy kissed him on the head and said, Good morning, sunshine. Don't you look nice today? Mummies always know what to say. The rock felt like a pebble again. On the way to school, another kid rode by Todd fast on his bike and yelled, Slow poke! The pebble grew into a rock once more. As Todd walked along with that heavy rock in his stomach, he tripped on the sidewalk and scraped his knee. It really hurt, and now the rock felt as big as a boulder. It was so big, it felt like it was pushing his insides together. When Todd got to school, he felt too heavy from the big boulder to play, so he just stood there watching all the other children having fun. The school bell rang, and Todd started to walk inside. Suddenly, the same boy from yesterday stepped on his toe again. Todd realized the boy had done it on purpose. Now he felt like he had a mountain inside of him that was so big no one could ever climb it. Todd sank into his desk, feeling very full with the mountain inside of him. He felt so full he could hardly swallow. The teacher was at the front of the classroom, introducing a new student to the class. The new student looked different from everyone else, and when Todd looked into his eyes, he could tell the new student had a pebble in his stomach too. When recess came, Todd still couldn't swallow right because of the mountain, so he didn't eat a snack. On his way outside, Todd could see the new boy in his class standing alone, looking at the other kids playing. The toe-stepping kid walked right up to the new boy and stepped on his toe. Todd knew that the new boy probably had a rock in his stomach now. Todd walked over to him and said, Hi, my name's Todd. Don't worry about that kid. He steps on everybody's toes. He must be really angry inside. Would you like to play in the sandbox? The boy answered, Thanks. My name is Tyson. I love playing in the sand. Tyson and Todd played all recess in the sand. They dug tunnels, made roads, built castles. They shared, laughed, and talked. When recess was over, Todd realized the mountain inside of him had shrunk. When Todd looked at Tyson, he could see that his rock was gone too. Instead, Todd felt something new inside of him. It was light and felt like life. Tyson and Todd happily ran into the school together. When they got to class, their teacher announced a spelling test. Now that the mountain was gone and Todd had this new feeling inside of him, he was sure he remembered how to spell all the words. Todd tried his very best on the test, and when the teacher came by to look at Todd's paper, she said, good work, Todd, you spelled all the words right. Something was happening inside of Todd. He realized the new feeling had been a seed, and now it was growing. Todd sat up tall as the great seed began to grow. Todd walked home with his new friend Tyson. They talked about their favorite movies, how they both liked toads and fishing, and about how they both thought dinosaurs were really cool. When he got home, he showed his mummy his spelling test and told her all about his new friend Tyson. She told him, you are such a good speller and Tyson was lucky to have found such a thoughtful new friend. Todd felt like he had a strong, tall tree growing inside of him now. Todd still felt that way the next morning when he arrived at school. He felt strong and tall like a tree. Just then, the toe-stepping kid came along looking sneaky. He started to walk right by where Todd was standing. Todd moved his foot before it could get stepped on, 
Then he turned and he walked away. He felt strong and light as he ran toward his friend Tyson. There was something great growing and Todd and Tyson both knew it. All it took was one friend. The end. Dear friend, be like a tree and grow strong, stand tall, and be the one. From Heather Rankin.